Hi, I'm Rachel Gray. Welcome to my cooking channel. Today I'm going to share with you one of my favorite fall and winter soups. It's corn chowder. This soup is fantastic. It's got the sweet corn, it has potato in it, and smoky bacon. Everything's better with bacon. But the best thing about it is, is you just dump in the cans, put it in the crock pot, walk away, and then when you come back, you have fantastic. And who doesn't need something easy like that? So let me show you how I make it. Let's go over the ingredients we'll need for this soup. We need 16 ounces of frozen hash browns. So this bag is 24 ounces, so I'll use two thirds of this bag. We need one can of whole corn, and then we need another can of cream style corn. These are about 15 ounces a piece. We need one can of evaporated milk. That's a 12 ounce can. A half a cup of onion, two chicken bouillon cubes, eight slices of bacon, so about a half a pound, one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, and then we'll need some fresh black pepper. And at the end, we'll thin our soup with some milk, or you could use chicken stock either way. So let's get started and I'll show you how to put this together. So this is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the fat has rendered and the bubbles around the bacon are getting really quite large. And most of the bacon looks pretty crispy but there is just a little bit that's not quite done. So what I'm gonna do now is just turn off the heat. Give it a nice stir and then I'm just gonna let it sit and it will cook in the residual heat and it will be perfectly crispy. So I can just set this aside. Now that our bacon is crisped, all we need to do is just throw the ingredients in. So I've got my corn that's creamed, and the regular corn, the evaporated milk, the onions, one pound of shredded hash browns, one tablespoon of Worcestershire, two bouillon cubes, Unwrapping these little cubes is gonna be the hardest thing that you do all day. Go ahead and add your drained bacon and look how perfect this turns out. Finally, some black pepper. Give that a nice stir together. Put the lid on and turn the crock pot on. If you turn it on low, you'll need six to eight hours. If you turn it on high, you'll need three to four. You can make this on the stove top, but you have to make sure to stir it, otherwise it will scorch on the bottom. So it's been four hours and our soup is, it's pretty thick at this point. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add a cup of milk and that will make it just the perfect consistency. Serve it with some biscuits. It's a perfect meal for a cold day. And there it is, it's corn chowder. It's perfect for that busy fall, winter day when you don't have time to cook. You can just throw it in the crock pot and even though it cooks all day, it still has textures to it. You can find this recipe and a lot of other delicious recipes on my blog, cookingwithrachel101.com. Let me know how you like the soup by leaving me a comment in the comments below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. It's free and it doesn't send you any annoying emails. It just helps you find my videos easier. But if you do want to get a notification every time I post a new video, hit the bell. Thanks for watching.